Tuesday's drowsy Colorado Senate debate between incumbent Democrat Senator Michael Bennett and Republican challenger Joe Odea could be the sleeper race to determine which party wins the majority in Congress's upper chamber. Compared to the fiery Pennsylvania Senate debate Tuesday evening between Republican Dr. Mehmet Ounce and Democrat John Fetterman, Bennett and Odea's debate was calm. However, the Centennial State's Senate race could prove to be the linchpin in either party's control of Congress's upper chamber. Colorado has trended to the left for decades and supported Joe Biden for president by a 13-point margin. But Odia surprised the political world by remaining more competitive than expected in the race, with the real clear politics tracking him behind Bennett by less than eight points. Pennsylvania Senate debate, Ounce, Fetterman spar over abortion, Dem won't say when limits should be. Covering several topics, the Tuesday candidate forum the second of three scheduled events between the two candidates before the November 8 midterm elections notably avoided the subject of rising crime in America, instead focusing on the economy, foreign policy and statewide issues. On inflation, Bennett called the issue a global challenge and claimed that Canada and the EU have the same inflation that we have. Joe Odia speaks at campaign event in Denver. Joe Odia speaks at campaign event in Denver, courtesy Sage Nauman for Joe Odia campaign. Bennett also cited supply chain issues as a driver of inflation worldwide and called for supply chains across America and the globe to be fixed. Odia fired back, saying he was a little annoyed at the Democrats' answer and blaming Bennett as the person solely responsible for being the final vote to pass the Democrats' $1.9 trillion spending package that has put inflation on a spiral. I don't see how you guys keep blaming everybody else, Odia said. Placeholder Odia took a moderate position on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA, Dreamers, calling for them to get citizenship as well as saying the U.S. immigration system is broken and needs to be fixed. Odia also pledged his first bill as senator would address the border crisis. The sleeper Senate races that may determine whether Democrats or Republicans control the majority. The Republican candidate also took aim at Bennett's track record of voting for policies backed by President Biden, noting the Democrat incumbent senator has voted with the president votes with the president on nearly every issue. Odia also quipped he does not agree with his wife 98% of the time. Meanwhile, Bennett took aim at Odie's immigration policies, saying the Republican supports former President Trump's medieval wall and slammed Odia for voting for the former president twice. Neither candidate answered the question on if they supported sending U.S. troops into Taiwan to push back against potential Chinese aggression. Senator Michael Bennett, a Democrat from Colorado Senator Michael Bennett, a Democrat from Colorado, Al Drago slash Bloomberg. Instead, Bennett said he supports policies that would make China think twice about going into Taiwan while Odia said Taiwan was at risk due to Biden's disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal. Odia also called for a report on why the date Biden chose for the pullout was chosen. In their closing statements, Bennett and Odia saw sparks after the Democrat claimed to have passed 101 bills he has written while Odia claimed Bennett has only passed one bill, in 13 years that he wrote.